So sometimes you might want to use static assets like images or extra style sheets or even JavaScript files that don't really fit into the Gatsby workflow of importing and processing the files inside this source folder right here. Now for those assets that don't fit into that workflow, we have the static folder. And if we open that, we can already see this fav icon right here. So anything you want to be made available as a static asset to the browser can go inside this static folder. For example, I could just place an image inside there and it would then be made public to the browser. If I place my image inside the source folder somewhere, it wouldn't be made public to the browser. Only things we place in here are gonna be made accessible to the browser directly. So what I'm gonna to do to demo this is just drag in an image into this static folder. Now this image was from Adobe. And what I've done is uploaded the watermarked image to my repo right here. So if you wanna get it, go to the lesson seven branch and then go into static and then you can get this banner right here. So this is the file I'm using, all right? So now this thing right here will be made accessible to the browser. And the way Gatsby does this is by putting this thing inside the public folder. And this remember is the thing that's served to the browser. And we can see it's already copied it over because anything inside this public folder is made accessible to the browser. So anything we place inside static, we can reach from the browser directly. And if I was just to go to this banner.png directly, we should see it right here. That works. All right, cool. So what if we want to use that inside a component? Well, let's go into source, then into pages, and I'm gonna go into the index component to use this. All right then, so after this div right here, I'm going to do an image tag like so. Now the source is just forward slash banner.png. And then the alt, I'm just gonna say site banner like so. And if we save this, and preview, go to the home page. we should see this gigantic image now of here, it works. Now, what I want to do is just add a little style to this. So I'm gonna do that directly in line on this element. So the way we do this is passing in an object into the style tag. And then I'm just gonna say max width camel case is gonna be 100% like so. So if I save this and preview, hopefully, yep, it makes it a little bit smaller and that looks a bit better. So you could also place other file types inside this static folder right here. Images, JavaScript files, CSS files, etc., and they would all be made available to the browser. However, there are drawbacks to using assets this way, just putting them in the static folder. It means they're taken out of the whole Gatsby processing workflow, so they're not processed, minified, or optimized for the web in any way. So later on in the course, we'll actually see a better way to work with images in Gatsby that will optimize them automatically for us to do things like generate multiple image resolutions or sizes for different devices, and then only load in the ones that we need for our current device size. The same is true for any CSS and JavaScript files that you put in here as well inside the static folder. They are not gonna be minified or optimized in any way when we build our application, unlike when we use CSS inside the source folder over here, when it is optimized for the web. But for any static assets that you don't need to be processed or optimized, you can use this static folder for that.